back to my channel. First, let me start off by saying I am so excited to finally film this video, which I will explain in a second, but this video is going to be a massive haul. 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 It's a haul. The reason I'm so excited that I'm finally filming this video is because I actually bought this makeup about a month ago. And in the tradition of a haul, I did not want to use any of the makeup because otherwise, what's the point? So I have had this makeup sitting in the corner of my room for one month. I haven't touched it. I've tried not to look at it because it aches my heart not being able to use it. And I wanted to only use it after I filmed the video and I just haven't had time. So that's why I'm so excited. Oh no, but I did use two products. I used Soul Lip Liner, which I'm using on my lips today, and Whirl Lip Liner, which I had, like, it was honestly staring at me in the face, and I was like, oh, oh, okay, I'll try you, okay, I'll try you, I'll try you, I'll try you. So yeah, last month I went shopping to Chutston, which is in Melbourne, because I'm from Melbourne. Hello! Um, and I went through to MAC, Too Faced, well, Kit, slash, like, Mecca, um... I went to Benefit. Where else did I go? I think that's it. Too Faced. Oh, and in here I also have my... Oh my god, and my lashes. I'll get them. And in here is also some makeup that my uncle brought me from America, which I also haven't touched because I was saving it for this haul. It's been painful. So first I will start off by showing the product that my uncle bought me while he was in... Sorry, did I say America? Not America, he went to Malaysia. Mm. First, I will start off by showing the stuff that my uncle bought me in Malaysia. Kind of sent him on like a little me goose chase around the Sephora's because we didn't have Sephora here in Melbourne. But I just found out this week that da, 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 right before Christmas, Sephora is opening up in Melbourne Central, which I cannot even explain how excited I actually am that it is finally opening up here in Melbourne. Like I was telling everyone the day Sephora opens in Melbourne, that day will be my new birthday and pretty much I'm going to be waiting in line the day it opens so I can get my hands on all the stuff that like I haven't been able to touch. I mean when I watch videos of like American YouTubers and even Australian new ones that get set these products or they buy them in Sydney because there's a Sephora in Sydney I'm like, oh, I want it, but and I want it so bad that I can't get it. So it's annoying, but mm, 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 mm. before Christmas, Sephora will be opening here in Melbourne. So if any of my Melbourne viewers didn't know that, I sent my uncle like a massive list of things I wanted. I wanted the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, but they don't sell that there in Malaysia. I wanted the Makeup Forever bronzers. They were out of stock. Um, I wanted the... Lolita, Kat, like there was a heap of stuff that I wanted that they didn't have. So he ended up getting me these four things, which I did want. First, just a simple, I wanted the, so I got the Beauty Blender Cleanser, which I need if I have a Beauty Blender. And I've been using my like facial cleanser to clean the Beauty Blender, but I thought, you know what, I may as well get the real one. So this is what it looks like. I've heard it's really good, so we'll try it out. Next I got, which I was so excited for so I thought if they didn't have the Kat Von D palette I wanted this because I also heard good things about it. This is the Marc Jacobs Instamark filter in 40 in 40 in shade 40. It's the one with the yellow and brown anyway. Unfortunately you cannot get this here in Melbourne yet but remember Sephora. Don't you hate your little baby hairs? Like Ugh! be gone. Anyway that is what it looks like. So you have a yellow shade to set, like to highlight the face, and then this brown shade to contour the face. I watched a lot of videos with people using it and it looked amazing, so I really wanted it. I'll swatch the two colors for you. Hopefully you'll be able to see. This is the yellow shade and then this is the brown and they blend out really, really nicely. So I'm so excited to use these, which I will definitely be using all of these products in upcoming videos. The next product that he bought me as well was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. Now, I know I can buy this now here in Australia at Mecca, but they are always, always, always sold out of this shade online. So I'm like, 
You may as well buy it for me because they probably would have it and they did and I'm so excited to use this. I've pretty much heard that this is like the best concealer ever. So, so excited to use this. I have so much trouble with concealers. Honestly, I crease like a beet arch under my eyes like so bad and pretty much every concealer does that to me. I don't even know if it's the concealer as much as it is my, me, like just me being a crease mess. Yes. <laughs> but hopefully this one will do like magic on me face. And the last product he got me in Malaysia was probably the product that I was most excited to get because I knew that if he didn't get it for me there, there was no way I was going to get my hands on it in Australia because they don't sell this brand here. And that is the Tartlet Palette. Oh my god, every time I saw someone use it, I was like, oh, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I want it. But I couldn't get it. This is what the palette looks like. How pretty. It's just gorgeous. So when he got it for me, I was like, yes, life complete. Then when I went to Mecca slash like kit type of thing, I got a few products from Too Faced. I wasn't intending on it because I was actually on my way from MAC to Benefit and then I had to stop at Too Faced because I love Too Faced. And of course, <laughs> when I go shopping with my mom, I'm telling you, she makes me buy more products than I would actually buy. She's like, go buy it, you need it. Like, you use it, buy it. And I'm like, but I can't afford it. And she's like, just buy it, it's fine. Anyway, one of the first products I bought there was the Coco Contour Palette, which is like this. Let's open it. What the palette looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. It has, it comes with a little brush as well, like this for you to contour your face. Oh, it's, oh my God, it's so soft. <gasps> I will try and use it. Hopefully I'll like it, if not, I have my other brushes that I will use, but I will see how this one works. This is what the palette looks like. You have your highlight shade, which is the light cocoa, then the medium cocoa, which is a contour shade for, I'm assuming, lighter skin tones. Uh, then you have your dark cocoa, which is, you know, for darker skin tones. But I think you could also use this as a bronzer, or just if you want a more defined contour, you could also use this. I know I'll be using both of them because, <laughs> yes. And then you have your pop of light, which is your highlight color. I'll swatch the colors on my hand. This is the highlight color, and then this is the medium cocoa, dark cocoa, and then your pop of light. The pop of light has like little flecks of gold shimmer, and like I'd say like gold and pink shimmer throughout it. It is very pretty. It is very like glittery, so if you're not too into that, you might not use that shade too much. But these three colors are stunning, and I know I will use the hell out of them because who doesn't need another contour palette? Like, really? Oh my god, my background. Like, again. Oh my god. Can I just say that Too Faced probably has my favorite packaging out of any makeup brand? It's just the cutest thing, like, it's just cute. That's the perfect way to put it. It's just very cute and pretty and girly. So yes, this is the little black book of bronzers. I do believe they released a big one and because it was so popular, they released a little book of bronzers. This is what it looks like. <laughs> See what I mean when I say that their packaging is like on point. Um, so pretty much you have, I feel like I'm a teacher and I'm reading my like, class a book. I could because there is like a little book here, but anyway, back to the makeup. You have nine. You have nine bronzers in here, and I think this was about fifty or sixty dollars. Which, if you actually think about it, yeah, you think, oh my god, that's expensive. It's like one palette, but it's actually not. Each of these bronzers, I believe, retails for about thirty dollars, and you're getting every single one of them in here. Yes, it is a smaller um, pan of it, but. It is still a hell of a lot for you to know if you will like it or not. And then you can purchase a bigger version if you like or just repurchase this. So you have all the different shades. You have Snow Bunny, Dark Chocolate Soleil, Pink Leopard, ooh, which is really cute. Beach Bunny, Endless Summer, Sun Bunny, Milk Chocolate Soleil and Chocolate Soleil. And then finally I bought, <laughs> because I needed another eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. It is so funny. This is what it looks like. See what I mean by their packaging is just, like, adorable. 
It's so cute. Meow. And this is what the palette. Oh yes. This is what the palette looks like. How insanely just. Mm? They're all really cool tone shades. These are all cool toned. These are the only warm tone shades in the palette. So from Benefit, I went a little bit crazy. By a little bit, I mean a lot. I got three of the push-up liners. I got it in brown, purple, and green. The first three products I bought there were the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liners. I got brown, purple, and green. They were so nice. The sales girl tried them out on me, and she was actually wearing purple liner with blue mascara, and it looked like amazing. So I was like, in my hind. And I got, yeah, these three, and then I got the mascara in brown and the mascara in blue. They're, they're real beyond? No. Yeah, the they're real mascara. Again, I don't have any liners in different colors or mascaras in different colors, so I thought I've heard good things. Let's get them. Next, the cash register, I stopped and looked at Hula and before I knew it, she was putting it on my face with blush and powder, and mum was like, Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Get that. So I ended up getting them. I got the only thing I actually really wanted was hula, but yes, I got the hula bronzer, and it comes with this little brush, which I'm excited to try because it could maybe be like the, you know, what's it called? The. You know, the. The NARS brush, the NARS Eater brush. Probably not, but I'll try it. Yeah, this is the Hula bronzer, which everyone's heard of it, everyone's seen it. So it's just a really cool toned bronzer. So I wanted it for contouring or, you know, when I just wanted a light wash of bronzer on my cheeks. But I also got the Havana blush, which is also really, really pretty. Just nice blush. You can pick different colors up from if you want. You can swatch. You can swirl your brush and pick up every colour, or you can just stick to these colours. It's just a nice, pretty blush. And then the last product I got was the Hello Flawless Powder. I got this one. It looks really nice on my face, and I can use it when I don't really feel like wearing foundation. So I feel like this would be good in summer when I'm more oily. But yes, this is what it looks like. It's... Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, I feel like this was a, would be a really good cover-up for summer over the foundation or even instead of foundation. So, yes, this is the Hello Flawless Champagne in the shade Champagne. I also went to Lemac because I saw the Dazzle, like the new Dazzle eyeshadows, and I thought I need, I just need to look at them. And of course I got them. I got three of the shades. These were the only two products that I actually opened. I only just opened Sora Up today as I used that on my lips for this video with Skimpy from Color Cop. Color Cop. Color Pop on top. Is just as gorgeous as you see like in videos. Also got Whirl. That was the only product that I actually like have used twice. Twice. I needed to use it. I needed to use it because. I've been waiting to get it for so long, and they finally had it in stock, and I was like, <laughs> mine. And I left it in the car. You've seen well, but I also got well. I've got some. The camera stopped filming, funny story. <laughs> I looked down to look at my swatches that I did, and was describing them so well, and noticed that it wasn't recording. Loving life. Anyway... <laughs> Lucky I still have the swatches on my hand, so I will go through them again for me, but for the first time for you. When I was actually speaking to a camera that wasn't recording, I was saying that these shadows are like completely multi-dimensional and throw off so many different colours that you cannot keep up. Like right now, I'm like, I don't know what colour I'm actually looking at right now. But anyway, this is Boom Boom Room. So as you can see in the swatchy... It is going from purple to a pink. Oh, let me just show you them in here. This is probably easy. So this shadow here is Boom Boom Room. The camera is not showing off how amazing it actually is. This is what the shadow looks like, as you can see. It's, right now you're like, oh, it's, well, it's just, it's, it looks pretty silver. It looks kind of blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
can you see how it's like going from to pink to purple to blue to it's just it's just amazing and that is what the shadow there looks like swatched I would definitely use either fix plus or glitter glue and this is the I'd like to watch that is the middle shadow there so it goes from green to gold to again pink they all like throw off some pinky purpleness to them I can't I don't know why let me see if I can show you. Can you see how like from that angle it's kind of throwing off a bit of like... I don't know how to... Anyway, there the swatches right there. I'll bring it closer for you to be able to see them. My ring light's making it like too... Focus! Can't even really tell that much, but it is a gorgeous like goldy green with... And when you move your like hand, it throws off purple. <laughs> I know I'm amazing at describing swatches. Like I know you don't have to tell me, but I cannot describe what's like in my mind and like what I'm seeing into actual verbal like English words. I don't know why I'm just struggling today. So just you know, just, it's fine. It's okay. <sighs> but that is that shade there. And then the last one was the Try Me On, which is a beautiful, it's just like, I kind of describe it as like a peacock colour. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a really pretty teal and it's got little flecks of gold and green throughout it. So that's why I would describe it as that kind of, as like a, like a peacock colour. I'm so excited to use this shade, like, mm, that is that. This one is probably the only one that actually stays true to a blue shade. It throws off different tones of it, but it is still definitely a like, like greeny blue. Now, before I show you these, let me start off by saying they were a dollar. So, they were a dollar. I picked up myself some lashes. Yes, I went on to Shop Miss A where they sell dollar lashes. No, they are not the junky ones that you could get off eBay. I have never bought them, nor will I ever buy them because I'm not getting like 50 lashes for a dollar and like burning and poisoning my eyes. No, 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 no. These is a reputable website which um, I've seen on YouTube. So I got five of each of the styles that I got. The first style I got was the 415, which looks like this. These are the 415s, they look like that. But this is the style number 43, which I picked up. And then the 218, which is a pretty full style lash. This lash band is super thin and basically invisible, so you don't have to really wear liquid like winged liner with it for you to hide the fact that you're wearing false lashes. So, highly recommend these, yeah. All, all of these have really thin lash bands, not just this style, but I'm saying, yeah, I recommend all these lashes so far because they look really pretty. I'm actually wearing the Demi Wispies, which are right here. Basically, exactly like the Ardell ones. I don't own them, but they are the Demi Wispies in their version of it. I also got the Wispies, which look like so. So these are just the regular wispies, not the demis. There we go. These are the wispies. These are the 423 style, which look like so. There we go. I also picked up some of the single lashes. I got them in short and in long because I already have a medium. And I thought when I want to create a more dramatic look, these would be very handy. And again, they were a dollar. <laughs> a dollar. As a beauty vlogger, you literally cannot have enough makeup. You constantly have to use different products and you want to use different products because you don't want to use the same stuff in every video that you do because then it's not as interesting for viewers and it's not as interesting for me. You want to keep things different and that's why we go out and we spend this money on different products so we can film stuff for you. So, yeah. Um, at first I was like, oh, I shouldn't, but... So that is all I ended up buying. 
Safe to say I will not be purchasing my... Oh my, that's a lie. <laughs> I just purchased... Just purchased some more makeup. It's an addiction. Some people are addicted to clothes. I'm addicted to makeup. And clothes. If you have used any of these products that I have just purchased, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of them because I love like talking to you guys and... It's like a little community. It's a community. It's a community. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to because that would mean the absolute world to me and just, just, just a lot. But yes, I will see you in my next video. Have a lovely day and bye for now. <laughs> bye guys.